Right, so what I've got here is two point coordinate files. One is LO27, which is the LO27 uh, clock 1880 or cake datum coordinates I imported um, from a CSV file, which are also the ones which I used for my transformation, which we did earlier in GeoTrans. And I just transformed it in exactly the same way to LO28 with 28 degrees as the central meridian. Just to illustrate how it's done, if you want to import a CSV file, you click on the comma there and you browse for a name. And now I want WG27, which is WGS84 coordinates. And I want, uh, I have to specify that there are no headers. If you want to add headers in there, you have to specify where to start uh, entering. And we also have to put in uh, the X field and the Y field. Now remember the X field goes horizontal and the Y field goes vertical. So the X field, in this case, is field 2, that's the name, uh, is field 2. And the Y field is fortunately an actual fact LX is field 3. And it will import it after it asks you what is the coordinate system. And again, EPSG um, 2052 is the one to look for. EPSG 2052 is the one to look for. EPSG 2052. That's IPS hoop LO27. And that's the one that is 2WGS84, which is again 0, 0, 0, 0. And we don't have to copy this because we already already created a LO28 on IPS hoop. So that's the coordinate reference system, and then you see there it gets my WG uh, 20, 27 in there, and it's all over the place in the day. Now, if we want the WG 28, I just have to save this file as uh, WG 28. Shapefile, and in this instance, my coordinate reference system will be Artemis Hook, uh, Artemis Hook, hello, uh, 27, uh, uh, Artemis Hook. Yeah, there it is. I press hook, LO28. Right? Remember, the central longitude is 28 degrees, and there are no differences from WGS84. So, we specify OK, and that is then OK, and WG84 is also important on WG28. So, Take 27 away, and you can see if we take the whole thing away, and we zoom in over there, you can see the two points are in actual fact a little distance apart. So, what I now want to do is I want to transform WG or LO28 to a transform WGS28 to see how well my transformation comes over or comes across compared to the, the actual coordinates. To do the transformation, you need to take the file LO28 and save it as something different, and we want to save it as uh, say WG. WGS28, not WG28, 
to distinguish from the others and we have to specify a coordinate system which will be uh, our user defined coordinate system uh, artbsu hello 28 right okay and it will do the transformation now if we look at WGS28 and WG28 you can see that they all on the same spot so it's not too bad if we oh, I don't if we zoom in, even at a scale of 1 in 4,000, 1 in 2,000, we start seeing a slight difference, 1 in 1,000, if we measure the distance over there between those two. And it's about 2 meters which it would have been it would have been a much more if we'd use the other translation um, parameters which uh, are the ones for the top for the whole of South Africa so this is how you do transformations in futures